Well, hi. Hi, once. Hello, once again. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your fantastic Monday. Turning Point Devo for Monday, uh, October the 3rd, 2022. Today is episode 360. Where we're off one number from the other the other videos. The other videos being on 861 today. We're at 360 today. Because of not having the um, turning point video on Saturday. It throwed it off one now. So For all week we were on the same number. The first number was different. But the rest of the numbers were the same. But now... We're off by one number. <laughs> well, the other other videos are one number different. We're still in the same area, but we're just one number off. So. But today we're going to be learning about being solid as a rock. Our beginning passage is Psalm 62, verse 7. Our recommended reading, we're going to read Psalm 91, verses 1 through 6. Our turning point is from Edward Mote. M-O-T-E. And the Bible reading was moving on in the book of Matthew, Matthew 5 and 6. So, if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. Comment what you, if you can't, uh, how was your day today, first off? How did, how did your first fantastic Monday of October go? And then, also comment, um... Hmm. Comment what you see, what you hope that this month's turning point is going to be about. If you, if you can't wait to see what what uh, David Jeremiah has in store for us for this month. <laughs> so, what, so subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends. Help me reach that 20 subscriber mark. By just getting four more subscribers to hit it. You have until um, Columbus Day to do it. If you don't do it, if I don't hit that mark number then, then I'll move it to Halloween. And to give it to the rest of the month. But just four subscribers. And by hitting the like button on these videos, if that's the only thing you do, do it. And it'll help get the video out to other people. It helps it helps the video and the channel reach other people. If you do that for me, I will greatly appreciate you. Greatly, greatly. So, without further ado, let's be solid as a rock. I believe there's a I believe there's a song out there. Solid as a rock. I know that line, but. I don't know the I don't know the, the name of the song or whatever. I'm solid as a rock. If you if you know if you've heard that phrase in a song before, let me know in the comments. Put a, a drop a link or whatever to that video or to that song. More, not more or less a video. Just give me a give me a link to get to that song. Or if you know the song, let me know what it is and then I'll look it up. Psalm 62 verse 7 says, In God in God is my situation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. So, and our, so as we're talking about Psalms, I'm going to go ahead and read, let's see, let's read the, um, the first section and then I'll get to the, the um, recommended reading because it's right between the first two sections. So it says, almost since its founding in 1875, Prudential Financial Insurance Company has used the Rock of Gibraltar as its logo, meaning an investment in Prudential is as solid as a massive limestone mountain in Gibraltar. In Gibraltar. Indeed, solid as a Rock of Gibraltar signifies anything that is solid, dependable, and immovable. Let me go ahead and read the second section. Then I'll read the 
Psalm 91 verses 1 through 6. So the actual rock of Gibraltar has stood for, for millennia on the southwestern tip of the Berean Peninsula. B-E-R-I-A-N Peninsula. Overlooking the Strait of Gibraltar that separates Europe from Africa. It is nearly 1,400 feet high with a sheer face that illustrates the idea of solid as a rock. Such an image was common in biblical times, and the psalmist pictured God as my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Psalm 18 verse 2, which I believe that's somewhat of what Psalm 91, the, the six verses talk about being the rock. Uh, Rock, fortress, refuge. Let's go ahead and read that one. But this is Psalm 18, verse 2. So let's read Psalm 91, 1 through 6. Should have went ahead and oh there we go. Psalm ninety one verse one. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him I will trust. There's that refuge. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. And uh, the fowler is one who catches birds in a trap or a snare. He shall cover you with his feathers and, order you, and under his wings he sh you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. But Psalm 91 verse 1 is the sinner's 911. That's what I've always referred it to, or have been explained to. That's a great way of saying what that verse is. Because... It is the sinner's 911. You got Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. You take those three numbers, take the little, the verse, the colon out, like you would put it as a, a verse thing, and you have 911. You never would think about that if you know somebody didn't tell you. So. But. It is easy to s It is easy to see why God would be pictured as a rock. He is strong, immovable, and affords protection to all who take refuge in him. Thousands of years of carnage and culture have not moved the rock of Gibraltar, nor have they moved our God. Amen. God and his word are the only immovable shelters in a world of uncertainty. So let's renew your trust in him today and live an immovable life. So today's turning point quote is from Edward Mott, M-O-T-E, or Mott, however it's pronounced. He says, On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Huh. Okay, that, that reminds me. That is that is a song. Well, hang on, let me go. Let me pause it, and I'll be right back with with it. So, okay, I'm back. But the guy that the man with the turning point, he actually wrote that song. It's called the Solid Rock. I didn't realize it until I looked it up, because I looked under his name, and that's what I found the number for the pat. This is my hope is built on nothing less. Then Jesus' blood and righteousness, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ's solid rock I stand, 
All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. When darkness ceases to hide his face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ's solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. His oath is covered in his blood, support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh may I then in him be found, dressed in his righteousness alone, fruit faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand. <laughs> so, Christ is the solid rock, and we on, on him we should stand. Amen? So with that said, I love you, appreciate you, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God, and he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2022 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell, have a great rest of your fantastic Monday evening. Come back tomorrow for your first terrific Tuesday with the passages including Episode 8. 62 part 1 angels round about from henry m morris beginning with psalm 34 verse 7 which will also be in the psalms um psalms playlist part two after one we're going to learn our heart's true home from james banks derived from psalm 63 and then tomorrow night's turning point Episode 361, we're going to be learning about words in red. Matthew 7, 24 is our beginning passage, which we'll read in the recommended reading. Matthew 7, 24 through 27. Our turning point is from Samuel John Stone. And then our reading is Matthew 7 through 9. So, our Bible reading. So we're actually going to read the recommended reading four verses there you actually read in the recommended reading or in the um, scripture reading for the day so it, it, it coincides everything's going to be the same <laughs> that's pretty good so but stay tuned for that I'll get to those in just a few minutes but you'll see those three tomorrow at eight uh, or at seven one and seven so with that said God bless everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha. Goodbye.